Hey everyone, this is Adam at Arcade Galactic in West Valley City, Utah at the Valley Fair Mall. I'm coming to you from the bowels of quarantine as uh, most of us are isolated and stay at home orders. But I had to come by, check out my business, make sure everything's fine, check the mail, that sort of stuff, and decided, you know, what the heck, let's uh, film some gameplay, so don't worry if uh, anybody's uh, freaking out out there about social distancing, because I am closed, so there's nobody here, it's not technically open, but it's not illegal to turn my machines on and play them uh, by myself, and so, um, yeah, it is what it is, but hopefully we'll be back open again soon, but uh, who knows, it's looking like the month of April will be a complete loss for myself and millions of other small businesses, and so I do wish the best to everybody out there, uh, both on the health and economic fronts, and hopefully we'll all get through this sooner rather than later and can try and crawl back to some sort of normalcy. By this summer, of course, I know when things do open back up, it won't be all normal right off the bat because of this damage that's been done already and some other factors. But uh, uh, we'll do what we can to, to bounce back. And so we're also hopefully going to be uh, all solvent and, and all that stuff coming out of this. But of course, if this goes on into June that's gonna make things a little harder now to help us out already because we're not the type of business that you can order takeout from uh, and I mean I would like it if possible I need to check with some local government officials and see if there would be the possibility of being able to open to appointment only to very small groups like less than five uh, perhaps and uh, and then go through all the different procedures and making sure things are disinfected and all that which we were doing uh, beforehand anyways but um, you know, I, I wouldn't mind seeing if that would be a possibility but uh, some other ways that you can maybe help us out is uh, well, the link here we have our T Public store now this is listed as Arcade Heroes but uh, that's a blog that I own that covers arcade news and some of you out there probably may read it Ready. If not, so then check it out. It has arcade pinball news on it. But um, I've also put some Arcade Galactic stuff on there and some just different gaming related designs. And it's t shirts, mugs, notebooks, covers, phone cases, stickers, magnets, tapestries, uh, tote bags, pillows, all that stuff that they offer to put the designs on. And so you have a selection to choose from there. So, but so that can help us out. Um, also, uh, we are open to rentals, so if you are in the Salt Lake City area then, and you want to have something like a game machine in your home, or, or if you do have a business that does happen to be open and has a break room, then uh, you could also look into getting some machine, a machine or two or three or four, any, uh, for a while in there. Um, in, the, in the home side, maybe weeks or a month or whatever you'd like to do, but send an email to this uh, address below and uh, we can see about it. And there might be some restrictions, like obviously we're not going to be able to get a Jurassic Park into a house uh, or The Walking Dead, uh, or probably not even Maximum Tune, but uh, well, we'll see, case by case basis. But what we have here are real bona fide arcade machines. We don't have the arcade one-up stuff. This is, these are games designed to last for a long time, and I mean, the, the Donkey Kong that's right here, it's an original from 1981, and still working great. Uh, this one that I'm going to play today, this was done in 2003, based on games that are older, of course. But, uh, also, we are selling some equipment, and so if you're, if you're not in Utah and you're interested in this equipment, you have the means. Well, uh, we have Allied Tank Attack by Enjoy Motion and Baron Games, and so it's a motion simulator game. And we also have Doctor Who Pinball by Valley Midway from 1992. And this one has been given some modifications. Uh, we've replaced some components inside of it. Some of the circuit boards have been replaced or repaired. We've got a brand new motor control board recently, a brand new motor to control the time extender platform. Uh, we also have added the color DMD to it, the LED version, so it looks beautiful. And it also has a protective layer on top of it, the diamond 
protection and so overall pretty nice unit so if you're interested in anything like that we are looking to sell and that would help us out but uh, since I'm here I uh, figured I'd play some games I did look at playing Star Wars Trilogy Arcade by Sega first but came to discover that I need some new potentiometers for the joystick on that one and so my gameplay was uh, subpar to say the least of course I hadn't played the game in a long time but it's hard when the when you need precision aiming and the things bouncing all over the place but I, I do always try and play the games that are here and keep them running as new as possible and as accurately as possible and so uh, yeah, that's one of those things that I guess we can work on while it's uh, while we're in isolation. But uh, we've got Centipede, Millipede, Missile Command here, and personally, I never was a fan of Missile Command. Really, just wasn't my jam. But, um, like Centipede and Millipede, I guess I'll do some Centipede first, and if there's still time, let's uh, do some Millipede. Yeah. So this was put together by Team Play. You know, it has Midway logo on it, and that's because Midway had bought Atari games back in the late 90s or early 2000s, uh, right before they closed their own doors on arcade development. But uh, yeah, this thing put together by Team Play, where they licensed the um, not just the technology, but the games. Uh, they licensed it from Infogrames, who had bought Atari. It's a big mess as far as how all that goes. But, uh, uh, it is a bit loud. here. Personally, I like this one more than Centipede. It, it is a bit more action-packed. I think it is a harder game than Centipede is, but uh, I mean, you have all these extra bugs that you have to deal with. Of course, there's that super annoying spider still that'll just come out of nowhere and kill you instantly, but <laughs> uh, the DD bo D DDT bombs are cool. It's just usually you end up hitting them without realizing it just because you're trying to hit the, uh, the Centipede itself. Um, but so this one actually had an elaborate storyline for it that Atari came up with that you don't get from the game, but it came on the arcade flyer itself, which usually wasn't posted at arcades, but it's like a story about this prince who's an archer who goes into the forest to hunt and comes across these new bugs or something like that. Um, but it's, it's kind of too bad that Atari, back in the day, didn't really build on that world build or something kind of like Nintendo has with their games. <coughs> Go for it.
I know I'm going to get into Millipede here. Um, personally, I like Millipede more than Centipede. So I think it was a great sequel, but for whatever reason, it seems to be a uh, little bit of an underappreciated game in the series. Everybody always just talks about Centipede. Now, of course, Centipede is a lot easier than Millipede is. Millipede has a lot more bugs to it that have different effects. But, I don't know, I just like that uh, action that you get out of it more than you get in Centipede. Now, uh, also, Millipede, Atari came up with this elaborate storyline for it, but you don't get that from the game because it doesn't have cutscenes or text or anything like that. But on the arcade flyer, uh, <laughs> it spends a lot of time uh, laying out this Prince Archer who goes into the forest to hunt and, and all that stuff. And that, but that's also why you have arrows on your character in Millipede is because you're this Prince Archer or whatever, or it's representing your bow. Um, so it's too bad Atari back in the day and later on didn't world build on that a little bit more. There was a comic book uh, for Centipede that came out on the uh, home console versions of Centipede, although you were a gnome in that one instead of the Archer Prince. So, uh, let's get to it and hopefully I don't suck too much. Apologies about the monitor quality of the CRT definitely. Needs to be <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
actually not a bad outing into Millipedes. Obviously, no world records set here, but uh, I had fun. I, I like this game. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if uh, we're back open April, May, whatever, I should get in this shot. Here. Um, yeah, come and enjoy some classic gaming here in its purest, truest form on an actual arcade machine with actual arcade controls. That's, that's the way it should be done. Um, of course, uh, these are single player games, so if you're still going to be concerned about social distancing, then we have plenty of single player games. We, and we have multiplayer games too, but uh, when we are open again, we will take all the proper measures as far as disinfecting machines, um, urging people to use change machines, uh, things of that nature. And, uh, hopefully, you'll be healthy out there, live long, and prosper. And we'll hopefully catch you soon. Thanks for watching.